this is Mad Wilkes and of Mad Wilkes and Tarot. It is Tuesday, February the 8th, 2022. Welcome to my channel. I'd like to say a special thank you to all of my new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in and watching my videos. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. Oops. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? My car just went flying. Thank you. It really helps out my channel if you subscribe. So if you if you enjoy my video, please do. How are you doing today, Aquarius? I will be doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining right inside of you. Your star, your star Aquarius. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Is it your birthday now, Aquarius? I think it must be. My dad's uh, my dad's birthday is at the end of the month, and it's Pisces, so spirit, soulmate energy. <clears throat> First card out. The world, the end of a cycle. I don't have anything else to say about that because it's the first card. The end of a cycle. So if it's the end of a cycle, it would be the start of a brand new beautiful journey. What is crossing this? Three of pentacles. <clears throat> pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See this person, he is watering the skulls. This talks about working on a solid foundation with someone. This could be in your work life or this could be you and your person. Consciously known, the Page of Wands. Wands are fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Pages are messengers. This is talking about a passionate message coming in. This person has his wand. He's sitting in a swing. It's a passionate message. Unconscious, Eight of Pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See her purse. She got a crown of black and white roses. This is going to work. Making your money. Money, money. Recent past. Ooh, drama. Five of Wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Five of Wands talks about fighting, arguing, drama. And this person is lighting a match, which makes me think about gaslighting. Toxic behavior. Near future. Ten pentacles. Ultimate financial abundance. This is money, money. Um, this is the happy family. A couple. Children if you want. Pets if you want. Nice house, property. Ultimate financial abundance. Pentacles are coins. Pentacles are money. Where do you find yourself? The Empress. Libra and Taurus energy. The Empress. This is Divine Feminine, Independent, Self-Sufficient, Sitting in her throne. It's a gorgeous throne too. Sitting in her power, knows her worth, does not get out of her throne for anybody or anything. She's always birthing new ideas. If you're pregnant, congratulations. If you don't want to get pregnant, take the proper precautions. Um, she's also good at figuring out new things for hobbies, new ways to make money. She got her scepter here. She got her fan. Gorgeous energy. I love the Empress energy. External in influences. Each of cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. She's got a crown of skulls and purple flowers. It looks like they're crying. This is walking away from something that no longer serves. Empress energy. You don't put up with you don't put up with shit and you move on from something that no longer serves. Walking away from something that no longer serves is very empowering. Hopes and or fears, 
The king of pentacles, the king of money. Look at this big, big chest of money. Pentacles are coins, money, earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the king of money. He is independent, grounded, balanced, stable, a business person, makes his money, takes care of his money, the king of money. Overall outcome. Ooh, the tower. This is talking about a cataclysmic change. Source Spirit Universe strikes down this tower because it was not built on a solid foundation. But after the tower falls, you can rebuild with this building a solid foundation. Three of Pentacle energy. Three of Pentacles energy. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is true love, soulmates, divine counterparts. See the beautiful bright red heart shining through the rib cage. Oh my goodness, I'm tired. <laughs> Hearts for eyes and nose. The water from his cup is spilling into her cup. What beautiful imagery. Sorry, I'm babysitting, so I'm a little tired. Soulmates, divine counterparts, you and your person. Ace of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Aces are all about new. Swords are uh, honest, clear communication. You got new, honest, clear communication. The Wheel of Fortune. The wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. Success. Success. Two of Swords. Swords are Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is my Two of Swords card. This is being indecisive. There is a decision that needs to be made. You're having trouble making it. This decision may have something to do with cutting something or someone out of your life. We do it have walking away from something that no longer serves. And the Knight of Cups, the Lover. Cups are water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Knights are less mature energy than kings or queens. The lover, he is romantic, he's a sweet talker, he's charming, um, comes at you with his cup, handsome or pretty. Here's my cup, Aquarius, but this person can be an inconsistent lover, may have a trail of broken hearts behind him. This may be the person you had to cut out. End of a journey, building a solid foundation, a passionate message, going to work, making your money, ultimate financial abundance, the beautiful empress, walking away from something that no longer serves, the king of money, soulmate energy, new honest clear communication, success. Uh, I think you had to cut someone out of your life. This may be this uh, lover energy. There was some drama here. There was a tower. Which is why there was the end of a cycle here. And then you were rebuilding. Because we started with the, the, the end of a cycle and rebuilding. And you may have had to cut this uh, inconsistent lover out of your life. Oracle cards. Regeneration. End of a cycle. Rebuilding. New life, the fool energy, taking a leap of faith, and to the sea. Maybe there's travel in your future for work or for pleasure. Love cards. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Religious factors, your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. 
you know how I feel about this. We all have different spiritual upbringings, religious upbringings and spiritual paths. It doesn't matter if you're... And let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. I like that card. Three of Cups energy. The sun. Leo energy. Happiness, joy, bliss. The bottom of the deck, the lovers. This is Gemini energy. The lovers, soulmates. We did have soulmate energy here. So we started off end of a cycle, building a solid foundation, a passionate message, going to work, making your money, ultimate financial abundance, the divine feminine, independent, self-sufficient empress, walking away from something that no longer serves, the queen of the king of money, sorry, uh, soulmate energy, new honest, clear communication. Success. The wheel spinning in an upward direction for you. And I think you cut someone out of your life. I feel like, yeah, that, yeah, it was this inconsistent lover. They were causing drama in your life, which caused a tower, end of a cycle, and rebuilding. Regeneration, new life to the sea. Stay optimistic about your love life, religious factors. Let your friends help you. Healing, healing. And the sun and the lovers. I read Aquarius. New life, new love. Have a great rest of your day. Oh, and money. You also had money, money. And the king of money. Um, have a great rest of your day. I will speak to you soon. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye for now.